is it here or there or there? So this was presented to me basically like this. You make some selections, you select th three different countries out of a possible six, and then you select three things that describe that country. Now, over here, in our summary table, we have the different countries, all six of them listed, or however many we have there, and across the top we have all the different elements. And then we want to see X's uh, via formulas, right, because this could change, so that we populate that with X's, and if it's not there, we get a blank. Now, the other thing is that the person that's going to be working with a file doesn't know Excel very well, so we can't do super complicated array formulas. So let's try to come up with a way that we can solve this, but in a kind of a step-by-step -step approach that can be taught to someone with, you know, lower Excel skills. So, number one, we are going to create some helper columns uh, to sort of put this all together. So let's just call it, uh, I don't know, H1 for helper1, and we say this, equals, and I'm going to click on that, I'm going to lock the K, and I'm going to say that and, or ampersand, weather, and press enter. So we have those two things together, and then I just drag this over twice. So now we have uh, New Zealand, if I just expand this, New Zealand and weather, New Zealand and eco, and of course the last one is New Zealand and sports. So let me just also drag this over, and now what we're going to do is simply take this and drag it down. So now we have the the nationality repeated all three times with the choice that they they selected along with it. Now we are going to use the match function to look for it. And we want to keep this as simple as possible, so we're going to say match this. I use F4 to lock it the correct way. And, and then I select the first choice here, locking it like this. And I'm going to say look for that concatenated value, and then where's our lookup area? Well, we're just going to select this little area here, F4, and we're going to put a 0. And now we're going to put the uh, the is number around this first one. So we're getting an error because it's not there, but when we put is number around this, we're just going to get a true or a false value. So that says false. And now, of course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, well, I have to repeat it for the other ones, because right now we're only looking in this column here. We have to look in here and here as well. And as you remember, we want to keep this really simple. So now I'm going to use the OR function to say, are any of these three finding it? So I just change the P here to Q. And I have to do this one more time. So I just put another comma. Let me just do Alt-Enter in the formula bar so you can see it. I'm going to paste in the third one. And this time, we're looking here in column R. So watch as I change this. So now we see we're looking in here the first time, the second time here, the third time here. And so the match, of course, gives you a number of where it found it. We don't really care whereabouts it's found as long as it's there somewhere. So the OR statement will return true if either this one is true, or this one is true, or the third one is true. As long as one of them is true, we'll get our true answer. So I press Enter, and it's saying false. So we know that's true. We didn't select Iceland at all. So the last step now is we just put an if statement around the whole thing, and we say if the whole thing equals true, then we're going to say x, else we're going to say double quote, double quote, for a blank. Hit Enter, and now I can drag this to the right, and I can drag it down, and we get the exact same x's. And just to prove that it's working, let's uh, clear out the last one here. Just highlight it, right click and clear, and this time let's pick Iceland, and we're going to pick that it's the history, and we want, uh, well, maybe not weather, <laughs> arts and we will pick food. And you see how all three of those highlighted, so it is dynamic, and it's relatively easy to uh, teach this to someone, because basically it's just the concept of the match to look for Iceland and food in here, or here, or here, those three areas. So we're repeating it three times. We have logical one, 
logical 2, and logical 3. Of course, those three things feed into the OR statement, and as long as one of them is true, that's all that the OR cares about, or this one, or this one, or this one is true. So we put our IF statement around the whole thing to say, if the OR statement equals true, we want an X, else we want a blank. Now, I know there is a very tempting way to do this with an array formula, but in this case, I think it's easier to describe this to someone with sort of a, a beginner Excel skills than a complicated array formula.